So I was zoning off the greatest of all time. Win 309. Fucking phenomenal, man. I landed a right hand. Hit him in the temple and knocked him out cold, man. KO, man. Yeah. You all know the story. Yesterday, Alex was here. Told y'all. But look, I, I want to talk about the, the woman that I've always been facing. The woman that I've always wanted. Kim K. Yeah, October 15th, 3 o'clock, you know, I could change the day, you know, whenever it's comfortable for her, but in October for sure, you know, which is not that far away, we're in September 10 right now. Hell, I can meet up with her right now if she wants, but the thing is, I I see her posting, you know, the cute little videos on Facebook and shit, and, you know, look, I, I've said it all about Kim now, like, we've talked enough, you know what I'm saying, it's time to, like, meet up and... and talk about it in person you know like and, and all, all you they're like haters you know saying like yo man kim got kim's married with kids let her tell me that if she tells me she's never told me that i know she's married with kids no but if that's that's a rejection if she tells me hey look charlie i'm married with kids if she tells me that then i'll say all right on to the next but she's never told me that so you shut the fuck up it should not it should not bother you if i'm hitting on a girl whether it's Kim, whether it's... Uh, hey, have you seen the hottie sitting next to me at a community service? There you go. I just got out of a relationship. Girl named Veronica. Beautiful girl. Fucking supermodel. Russian girl. Like, holy shit. You know what I mean? Just as hot as Kim. No offense, Kim. Yeah, both of them are beautiful. And Veronica was just... We just couldn't... We didn't click, personality-wise. Yeah, like, we clicked, like, of course... Into in, like intimately wise attraction, yeah, we were attracted to each other, but personality wise, oh no, we didn't, we didn't click. And that's why we broke up, and I still wish her well. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the greatest boxer of all time. I've proven everything in, in boxing and street fight, and I got nothing more to prove, man. I just wanted to, I just wanted to be a full time boyfriend, and a, you know, full time husband, and full time father. Charlie's it, man. Yeah, you heard me, man. That's right. And the woman that I want the most is Kim Kardashian, man. I know she's got a lot of baggage, well, shit. If y'all can't handle it, give her to me. Kanye West, you're soft, you're weak, you're a washed-up rapper, and I'm a boxer in my motherfucking prime. That's it. I knocked out Deontay Wilder. That is that is more big time than than throwing any concert, you know, like, kind of like any concert you ever throw. And, and what you did in Sacramento, man, that your own wife knows that's not cool, man. I would treat her better. I, like, if you, if, well, yeah, I understand you have kids with her. You can see your kids. She can friend zone you again. Kim Kardashian can friend zone you. You can be friends with her. Um, yeah, so, but she can be my girlfriend if she wants. You know what I'm saying? Because she never told me that, oh, you know, like, I'm married with kids. You know why? Because I think she, secretly she fucking likes me. Yeah, she may love you the most right now, but that's right now. You know what I'm saying? October 15, if she shows up and we and we meet up, how planned? I don't know, man. She might dump you. I got a lot of game, a lot of charisma. Yeah, so. And the, the thing is, you know, I've knocked so many people out, you know, getting, you know, the Israeli soldier, Isaiah, Deontay Wilder, you know, Southpaw Sill, that kung fu champion. Yeah, I showed him who the real champion is. I got nothing more to prove, man. And fighting, yeah, I'm probably gonna continue fighting, you know what I mean? But not as much, not as frequent. You know what I'm saying? That last win was, was a signature, you know? But, and I demolished 56 people this year, you know? You know, the best fucking fighter ever, Charlie Zonoff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, um, <clears throat> oh, another thing, uh, some, somebody, uh, was it Eight Ball? Yeah, bro, like, I appreciate that you posted the video of the, the new girl that I scored, but um, come on, man, like don't don't post videos of Kim crying, you know what I mean? Because uh, the girl, poor girl, just got some disease, whatever, you know. Y'all need to leave her alone, man. Come on. No, you you can post videos about her. Just post like positive videos. Don't post how she's crying and shit like that. Come on, man. That ain't cool, dog. You know what I mean? Because what if, like, think, ask yourself this question. You know, what if one day me and Kim Kardashian start dating? It, you know, it's life. Anything can happen. Yeah, she's not gonna like those kind of videos. So be like, don't do them. Man. You can't. Like, I thought the bridge was burned. Nah, it's not burned. She literally just said, "There's no baby number five coming up with Kanye West, man." So. And they they fight a lot. The, the, a lot of those tabloids are. 
complete fucking bullshit, but not all of them. No, but she's, it came right from the horse's mouth. She said it herself. You know, these, these bullshit tabloids say baby number five, all this. Yeah, maybe she'll have baby number five with another man, but not with Kanye West. I mean, she said it herself. All the solutions for the problems that I Kim, I hope you show up and uh, you know meet up with me. Uh, I've uh, went out with Bunny, and uh, I like him better than Bunny, man. Bunny's uh, whatever, man. I had no comment, man. I, yeah, we we hung out together, you know, at night at the club, you know, I bought her vodka. You know. It's just really smooth, and there's something for everyone. We have three different tensions. You can go just, you know, from a light smooth to more intense, and I'm just, I'm so happy that I took my time. Is it coming to war? Wow. Well, I got into some legal trouble. I'm going to have to make an appointment with her, then. <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, hold on, I'm yeah. looking for the part. The most amazing bra, an amazing breeze. We have the one, it's just three for the longest time. I've been cutting it. Oh, here we go, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, it's all you derelict haters that are saying, oh, but she's having baby number five. No, she's not. What, what, what? I won't. Well, I think that's just like, I think I'll go crazy. But I think four is the perfect magic number. It's. All right. It, it's just, it is really zen. It feels really equal and calm and great. Kim Kardashian dishing on her fourth uh, kid. Planning to make it six, like mom Chris. I think this is it, just because I am. I think this is it, meaning this is it with Kanye West. You hear that? She just said it, no fucking tablets. No, she never told, the, yeah, you can't tell me like, oh, but she's, she's got kids and she's married, blah, blah, blah. Let her tell me that. If she tells me that, then, then I, that's when I walk away and get another girl. She never told me that. Because I think she secretly likes me. I think she does. So October 15th at the Red Clock, uh, I already went there. I already did an interview about her. If she comes, and if she doesn't come, then they're, they're still going to watch it on TV, and she'll see it no matter what. They're going to keep replaying it over and over. So if she flips the channel, she'll see me asking her out on TV no matter what. So is that a girl that hot, man? I got nothing to lose. She's not my girlfriend yet. She'll look, two things are going to happen. Either I'm going to get her or I'm not going to get her. That's it. One of the two is going to happen. That's it. I don't want to hear what any of you fucking idiots say. I'm 309 and I know some motherfucker was talking shit in this fucking car. I came up and knocked him the fuck out with a brutal right hand, man. This dude was dumb, man. Talk, he, he, he was threatening me and shit. Listen, and if she want, and if I get with her and if she wants me to retire from boxing and street fighting, I'll retire. That's it. I beat over 300 people. I got nothing to prove, man. And all these dumbass motherfuckers are saying, like, oh, so let's say you score a camp. How are you going to provide for her? Shut the fuck up, motherfucker. How are you going to provide? How did I provide for Daria, for Veronica, for all these sugar, for all these hot-ass fucking Pamela's? Man, the list goes on and on. Samantha, Camila. How did I provide for them? I'm not comparing anybody. I'm just saying, how did I provide for super hot women that you motherfuckers only see in magazines? How did I provide for them? Best boxer ever. I got game. I got enough money to support literally any girl that walks this planet. That's it. Throw on and on. Next fight. Hopefully in the ring. Yeah, in the ring. I'm going in the ring. Uh, I love fighting in the ring, man. The best boxer ever, Charlie Z. Yeah, so stay tuned for October. Uh, uh, part two, Charlie Kim interview. Fuck Kanye West. Kanye West is a bum. Uh, she deserves better. She deserves me.